Other resolutions of the General Assembly are also fully behind the sovereignty, political independence, and territorial integrity of Ukraine within its internationally recognized borders. Mr. President, the Minsk agreements approved by the Security Council and that I strongly supported from the beginning were surviving in an intensive care unit thanks to a number of life support devices. But now those devices have been disconnected. We must also be concerned about preserving the integrity of peacekeeping. The United Nations has a long and recognized experience deploying peacekeeping operations which only take place with the consent of the host country. Mr. President, it's time for restraint, reason, and de-escalation. There is no place for actions and statements that would take this dangerous situation over the abyss. It's time to establish a ceasefire and return to the path of dialogue and negotiations to save the people in Ukraine and beyond from the scourge of war. I urge all parties to make full use of Article 33 of the Charter and its diverse instruments of Pacific settlement of disputes. Mr. President, the United Nations system is continuing to support the people in Ukraine through our human rights and humanitarian work. Our human rights monitoring mission has seven offices throughout the country on both sides of the contact line, documenting civilian casualties, monitoring freedom of movement, and reporting on allegations of human rights violations. Our humanitarian operations are independent of whoever might control the territory where people are living.